how good are summer days, especially when you're spending them in the backyard. Oh! Zach has a great backyard, and he uses his old shed as a cubby. Show us around, mate. What do you do here? You run a business out of it? What are you selling me today, Zach? Donuts. Donuts! <laughs> I'm in! Four-year-old Zach loves his cubby, but his mum, Anne Marie, really wants to fix it and move it to a better spot. And we're happy to help, because Zach and Anne Marie have had enough on their plate. It's just Zach and I now, because uh, his father, my husband, Chris, passed away 18 months ago from cancer. Although children are resilient, and Zach certainly is a happy little chappy, and uh, he loves to play outside, and he's actually quite a charmer, the old Zach, which has helped both of us <laughs> in this journey. So we're going to renovate the old cubby and turn Zach's backyard into a summer playground. It's a pretty good little structure. It's probably two metres wide and three metres deep. The problem is it's next to a two-storey house and it's just always in the shade. Yeah, but we're lucky in this backyard. There's a nice slab in the back corner and it's going to get the sunlight all day. Best thing about that, we can really dress it up, make it look like his own little house, give him a taste of the real estate market and, you know, make him house proud. I'll go and get some stuff down at Bunnings. Beautiful. I need to strip this down, mate. Start making it safe. That's it. Come on, Dan. Let's go, brother. Come on. When it comes to dressing up a cubby house, it's pretty simple to get it right. you just got to think like a little kid. I've been doing that my whole life. Now, there's so much to choose from these days. You do need to be a little bit selective. You want to make sure they're going to use them. I like them. A pair of binoculars. Do we want a steering wheel so they're a race car driver? Or do we want something off a pirate ship? Arr, I know which one I'll go with. Things to climb on and slide down. A slippery dip, of course. Little Zach's going to love this, and I reckon I'm going to get Adam to put it together. And the reason why I'm down at Bunnings is for this here. It's called Paw and Place. Now, for many years, if you had a high traffic kids play area, you'd put this down on the ground, but it had to be done by tradesmen. They've eliminated all that. You can buy everything in the one box ready to go, and it's even fun to put in. But it's more fun for the kids to play. It comes in four colours. I hope little Zach enjoys this as much as me and Adam are putting it together. Oh, how cool is this? It's Zach's little chair. Look, even got his name carved out. I'm glad Zach's not here to see me doing this. I don't think he'll be too happy with me. Did you miss me? Oh, perfect timing, mate. Did you miss me? <laughs> Always. All right, so we've got to move it. What about if we slide these through? Yeah. Get some big, strong, young, good-looking blokes, or whoever's hanging around, and uh, see if we can pick her up. Sounds like a plan. Come, boys. Big, strong, good-looking, and young. <laughs> it's unbelievable that that's their surnames. Crouch, pause, engage. Beautiful. Why's your face going so red, Jase? Lifting! I think we've got to spin it around, don't we? Beep, beep, oh. beep. I've seen them move whole houses. I think we should put it on the 45. Oh. Now, nah, come to think of it, <laughs> maybe on the 90. <laughs> Strong, good looking. Where are you going? <laughs> and then just back towards the fence. Back towards fence. <laughs> Back towards fence. <laughs> no, that's level. Job done. I want to get rid of the step up into the cubby, so I'm going to be removing these legs. But first, I'm adding four sleepers underneath to the subfloor to keep it off the ground. Now, I've got muscles here to hold the weight of the cubby so I can get these back legs off. New dig safe and sound. Oh, good work. Cubby's in its new dig safe and sound, and we're on our way to creating a new summer playground. I'll see you later. Or chibri amo. <laughs> to give it more sun, we've moved it. His mum, Anne Marie, couldn't be happier. When Adam and Jason said they were going to move it, that was fantastic for me because I've been wanting to move it for quite a long time, but 
um, it needed about six people to do that. We brought in some manpower and now the cubby is in its new spot. That looks better already. You've lowered it like a hot rod. I'm going to reclaim some of the backyard. There's enough lawn here that they won't miss a few metres. Cutting it out and giving him some soft area where he can rumble with his mates because that concrete, it's anything but soft fall. That sounds good, mate. While you're doing that, I'm going to reclad the outside of the cubby and take off a couple of the roof sheets to let the light inside. Now, if you're going to go to the expense of hiring one of these guys, make sure when you go over the lawn, you go over it in a couple of different directions. That way, it breaks the grass up into small bits, which are easier to get up by hand and easier by shovel as well. And I'm replacing this sheeting with some polycarbonate, which will allow the light to come in, but not the elements. This is your kind of grass, isn't it? Fake turf, definitely, mate. Now, normally, I wouldn't recommend this. I'd say go for the real thing, but high traffic area and kids playing, it's nice, neat and clean and won't turn into mud. And it's maintenance free. If I was using this synthetic grass for a tennis court, you'd have to glue the whole thing down to the slab. But the slab being pretty good, I reckon this will be used for something else in another half a dozen years when he's grown out of it. So I'm not going to glue it and damage the slab. I am going to attach the two pieces together. It's coming together, mate. It is, but we've got a whole heap more tricks to make this little cubby house the talk of the town. Well, we're halfway through our backyard playground. Jace, how good are all these toys, mate? I never had a slide that turned into a water slide when I was a kid. Water slide? Yeah. I didn't even know that. Yeah, That's yeah. cool. That's fantastic. Yeah, there's so much bright, colourful stuff for the kids to play with and Look at this. get their imagination going. Whoa. Jets. Where'd you go? Well, I got you. So these toys from Bunnings are amazing. Fantastic. Look at this. Hey, calling the cows, mate. How you going with this? Yeah, well, look, they are fun to play with, Jace, but a little bit hard to put together, so I am a little bit stressed, but it's getting there. Well, by the time you get that right, you'll tackle this planter box easy. Yeah, Danny's going to help me. Go yeah. on, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> now, Zach wants to open up the new donut shop, and business will be booming when the place looks this good. So I'm creating some space for some steppers. Leading people into the door, taking their cash is what it's all about. Enjoy. Now, Adam's not going to have all the fun. I'm going to knock something up as well. And it's going to be like a balance beam or an old rickety bridge. I'm cutting down some pine posts to create supports, then giving the whole thing a coat of sealer. When it's assembled together, it'll create a balance beam. They can practice their balance when they're on their own, or they can get on with friends and have a bit of fun. Emery, do you know how this works? Uh, I have some idea, but... All right, so what we need to do is if we pick it up, we can work out what it's going to be like. Beautiful, it'll be a bit of fun. We need to put the four posts in, so if we put it on the ground, lay our chains out, then dig some holes 400 mil deep and add some rapid set to support it in place. Well, that's looking a lot neater, but that's a little bit too plain for me, so it's time to add some colour. Now, because this is a kid's play area, I've got a licence to put colour everywhere. And I'm starting with some chalkboard walls. But who wants black when you can have bright colours? Zach's old cubby door with the quarter moon I'm going to keep. It just needs a clean-up and a coat of paint. I love the idea of the lift-up windows on the old cubby, but the frames had had it, so I've made up some new ones and I'm covering them in the same sheet that I used on the roof. And to finish it off and make it safer for the little hands, I'm just putting on some aluminium angle. That just leaves the cubby at a whole lot more colour. Adam? <laughs> Jace, what do you got there, mate? Mate, soft fall. It's the, you know, the rubber that you see under like sort of public playgrounds? Yeah. It's that soft sponge. It lets the water through, but it stays nice and clean. It's nice and easy to work with. You just got to read the instructions. Good luck, mate. There's a little hole here. 
that I pour the binder in, mix it in the bag, and then work straight from that. So you don't even need a barrow, and there's no cleaning up. Takes about 60 seconds to mix up, but you don't want to get this on your skin. That's why I got the gloves on. It's extremely sticky and hard to get off, which is a good thing, because it's going to stick to the ground and it'll be hard wearing. Hey, uh, Jase, remember what this cover used to look like? I know, it looks so much better. But do you know what I think the best thing is? What's that? I'm having so much fun playing with this stuff. I reckon I'm just going to go around the neighbourhood and build kids' cubbies. <laughs> now, before I fill up this cubby, I'm just putting down a vinyl floor, which gives it that real diner look, because we all know that Zach loves playing shopping here. There you go, mate. And to finish off this window opening, I'm just putting down a Merbu seal, or as Jace might say, Merbu. Hey, Jace, you want to give us a hair, mate? I thought I'd just watch. <laughs> I heard you before, mate. Nice Merbu. Yeah, yeah. See, I can speak like a Mexican. Yeah, that's it, mate. That's All right, it. I hold it. You screw or yeah, I screw? Can you just get that end one in first? Yeah, it's a powerful drill. That's it. Beautiful. How's it look? All good? Yeah, it's cute as. This little cubby is almost ready for business. Let's hope Zach likes what he sees. Can you see a beautiful garden over there? Our little summer playground is nearly open for business. Mate, I'm glad you made some business, because how good is this sauna I've got made up for you? That's awesome, but when I said donuts, I meant real donuts! Hold your horses, the sign will go up, and the real donuts will come. I reckon when it comes to gardens around kids' areas, there's no real science to it, but what I go for is big, bright colours. And who knows, by planting a garden around their play area, they might just fall in love with it, like I did. The soft fall mulch looks fantastic next to the soft fall rubber and the contrast of the synthetic grass. And I know one thing about this, it will never look as neat and tidy as what I'm doing right now. Because when kids are having fun, they won't be clean. And we can't forget this. Perfect spot for Zach to sit and steer his ship. Jace, tell me, has this balance beam set? Because I've been wanting to use it all day. Go for it! Yes! <laughs> Ooh, I'm not too good. Look at me go, mate! Look at the surfing! The best part is if I fall, I'm not going to hurt myself. <laughs> no, the best thing is you and I are impressed with our own hand. Anyway, yeah. put yourself on the back. That's it, well done. Now, as happy as we are, it's all about the little man, Zach. So let's get him back so he can judge what we've done. Right, Come I'm on, let's grab it's him. a thumbs up. It will be. It's got to be. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Do you want us to lift the blindfold or leave it on? <laughs> what do you think? Leave it on. Okay. Leave it on, OK. Right, there you go. Do you like it? Ooh. All right, Mum, you ready? Yeah. I think we can show him. Three, two, one. Wow! Wow! <laughs> Whoa! Four jump. <laughs> Can I please have a chocolate donut? How much is a donut? Because I don't have much money, mate. $60. Whoa. Sixty hundred. Will yes. you take a high five instead? <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you, Adam and Jason. Oh, thanks, mate. No worries, mate. Thanks for the donut. <laughs> Cheers.